What's up guys? Teach Me Grappling here. It is the last day of the month, so it's the last day for the Rash Guard Raffle. $10 or more if you guys want to donate today to Patreon. Click on the link below. And if you're $9 or less, you'll get a t-shirt just like this if you win the raffle. I'm going to be doing that over the next couple days. And I'll be doing it in front of you guys uh, for the camera. Um, having said that, it's the last day of the month. I just got back from my fishing trip. Um, it was just horrible. Me and uh, Black Belt David Dunn, he took me out, tried to take care of me. And dude, I just puked on the boat all day long and I didn't catch one tuna. He caught a couple, a little skipjack. It was, it was just a bad, they've been catching them, but we didn't catch them. We were in the, on the wrong boat. So um, I'm feeling very uh, out of balance right now. So I'm gonna take it to the mat. So go ahead and come down. We're gonna go over, uh, back to basics, back to basics. Um, this is what we did today in class. Um, it's a real simple drill, nothing fancy here. I'm um, just gonna try to show you guys some details. Maybe you can learn something from the details. Um, I probably will miss a few details. I'm gonna do my best, but uh, what I'm gonna do is in side control, I'm gonna pop up to knee on belly to attack a far side arm bar. So watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna post up on the guy and get to knee on belly. The opponent's gonna post his hand on my leg. Usually he's trying to hip escape and try to get that knee off, like that. So what I'm doing is, as I position myself here, I'm gonna swim my hand inside to look for the underhook. This is a good thing to do if you don't have the underhook. Like let's say for example, you had the underhook and then all of a sudden he framed your neck and you were worried he was going to escape. Either get an underhook, right? Or just simply frame. All this becomes bad for you because now the knee gets in. So what you wanna do is replace that space that he created. He's about to create space, I replace it with my knee. So you guys wanna know that. I mean, so it's not just uh, side control, go to knee on belly, but I'm giving you the timing of this situation. I was in here, he started to frame. I go knee on belly, he's posting on my knee. I'm going to thread through the hole as best I can. And then what I wanna do is, when I go here to pull the arm for the arm bar, if I'm loose, he'll just limp his arm around in a circle and then I lost my control. So go ahead and do that again. Perfect. See that? And then I want to control it better. So the moment I do this, one of the details is my, my, my curl, my bicep curl. I'm doing a little preacher curl right here like that. And then as I do it also, I'm going to be gripping it and my right elbow is going to flare out to control his arm over here. And I want to keep some tension here so that he cannot just limp arm. I'm loosening a little bit. That's it. He just limp armed. I don't, sometimes when you do it, he'll slip up to your neck like that. And then if you loosen a little more, he'll actually get in front of your face. And then now he's here or re-pummeling or whatever and you've lost it. So watch what I'm doing. He's pulsing here. I've got some pressure on the guy as the guy's trying to brace and hip escape. I pummel and there's contact. I feel the side of my elbow against his wrist and I pry and break the grip. Now as he tries to pull that arm out, it's tight, okay? Also, leverage-wise, deeper sounds a lot better, but it's also heavier. So when you're deeper on the underhook, it seems like it won't slip as much, but remember, he's so hard to pull around. For me to pull the shoulder if he resists, and then now he has more movement with his arm. Yep, like that. So I'm not really gonna be that deep. I'm driving my knee on belly, maybe threatening the mount, you start to hip escape. So I go through and I'm here, I'm actually lower. I don't wanna be here, but I wanna be low so I have good leverage. Now try to pull your shoulder back to the mat. See how hard that is? But I'm here, go ahead. Yeah, he's strong, I'm starting to lose my balance. So I'm about like here, keeping this nice and tight so the arm is stuck. Look at how my weight has shifted. I've got my left hand bladed against his neck. I've got good pressure, so if he tries to move, it's hard to move, and now I'm ready to go. I wanna pull him on his side as much as I can. This left uh, right hand that's here, I wanna make sure I can clear it. I'm gonna take a big step and step over. As I make this rotation, I wanna pivot. As I pivot, I wanna put my butt over here so I'm accessing this leg, okay? I wanna think that I'm gonna make a rotation so I can fall towards the legs, okay? This is what I wanna do. Now as the guy who tries to grip his hands so he can defend, I always teach this, go nice and tight through the loop. If you have the shallow grip, you're gripping here like this. You never shallow it up and grip like this. 
this is a good recipe for the guy to pull right out. Just go ahead and face me, hip escape and pull your elbow to the mat, like so, okay? So if I have a little bit of a shallow grip, this is a good grip, the grip you started with. This is pretty good. Or you wanna have a nice deep hook, like better, when I can go to here. Now leg control, I'll try to pull my leg out and I'll go right to kicking of biceps or crossing of legs or chopping and breaking grips. Okay, so again, I'm teaching you guys this basic arm bar. Side control, the guy framed in front of my neck. I go knee on belly on my opponent. I start to pummel and I'm getting this position, feeding this head between my legs, stepping around. I don't wanna fall in this direction because what happens is it makes it ultra easy for this guy to walk around and hitchhike or escape and you've lost it. Now, there's so many possibilities here that I'm not going over in this video, like arm bars, or uh, triangles, different types of arm bars, uh, kimuras, uh, omoplatas, things like that. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna show you guys our, our escape drill along with the attack. So again, notice how, go ahead, pulse on my leg. So I swim through, I pull the guy here. If I step this way, it's easier for him. If I try to lean this way to try to counter his hitchhiker, he straightens his arm out, and go ahead and look to your right and go. It's very hard to stop him. Now I could try to get to here and play with triangles and all that, but he might pass my guard. So watch again how the detail of getting towards his legs, as I step around, I wanna make a rotation. So when I'm here, I wanna step and I wanna rotate and go towards the legs. That way when he, he may try to sit up, that's fine. Notice my right foot in his armpit, not a big deal. I don't care too much. If the legs across his head, good to keep him down. If the legs in the armpit, it's not good, but I can make it good. So when he sits up, one thing I can do is pull my leg out and go to X break. You should be locking your hands probably. And then now when I'm in X break, so you notice if my leg's here, I don't want to stay here or here because when you pull, he'll close your right elbow real tight and then start your sit up and I don't have a mobility keep him on his back. So what I want to do is, go ahead and try to sit up like that. I want to try to force this one through so I can use the X break and it's much better control. It's balanced now. Think of it like I've got one leg on each side, it's balanced. So if this is good, the basic arm bar, balanced. Or if one leg goes through, you know, like you have triangle stuff here, but it's still a little bit unbalanced. This will help you balance it by having your legs crossed it doesn't really matter which one's on top, this X break will still work pretty well, whether it's this way or if it's this way. Same, so when he tries to sit up here, you have good control and it's a really good uh, grip break mechanism to squeeze and keep everything tight, pinch your knees, no elbow can come out, he's not gonna hitchhiker you. Even if I didn't have the leg, if he tried to hitchhiker now, it's really hard for him to, and I can control his thumb and make sure I direct him where I want him to be and control him. So that's your arm bar. Then, can you do this arm bar to me? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is I'm here on my side as best I can. I'm trying to push and he goes through for the underhook. Remember, he, he broke the grip off the knee. Remember, kind of slide back here and then, yeah, good leverage. You can frame right here on my neck, keeping some, pull the arm nice and tight. That's not bad. Okay, right there. And now, I can't, I'm trying to move. You gotta keep some weight on me. Yeah, keep some weight, oh my goodness, there you go. Now he's got it, now he's ready. So when he steps around, go ahead, he pivots, and he falls. Now, what I'm gonna do in the drill, which I have my guys do, what we were doing a lot today, is learning the hitchhiker escape, which is really, really good to do in this position, where we are right now. Um, harder to do, with the legs across. If the legs, yeah, and if it's fully across, take your left foot, yeah. You can still do it here. I mean, if you guys have ever seen, like Gary Tony has absolutely no fear. He'll just do it. Um, but, but just so you guys learn, when you're in this arm bar, this arm bar is very volatile. I mean, you're either gonna get tapped really quick or this thing's gonna fall right apart. So if it's a really fast submission, it, it surprises guys and boom, they're tapping immediately. But the second somebody locks, or if they're moving a lot, you see this armbar fall apart. So remember that, it's a volatile position. Um, so that's why I always teach him to always get his legs 
in proper position to control me. Um, if, when I'm here, I need to take advantage. This guy's trying to arm bar me. I just let it go. I let it go and I turn my thumb. Remember, if you create tension, let's say he's hugging, and I, ten, I put tension like I'm resisting, pull, yeah? And then as I try to go, it's hard to move. Everything's hard. I can't turn. So remember, key is let it loosen. Let him have what he wants. He's pulling hard. I'm resisting, pull. I let it keep going. I let it go, and I turn, okay? So look at my thumb. I rotate my thumb, thumb down, hitchhike, okay? Go ahead and pull, pull real strong. Pull, 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 pull. Boom, I let it go. I'm hitting a bridge. I'm gonna get on my right shoulder and my head's gonna go through this hole, okay? As I'm here, look at, in this case, his right leg is right here stuck in my armpit, in this case. If I rotate around, I'm gripping so that I don't want his legs going to things like triangles and omoplatas and stuff. Notice where my right hand or my left hand at being attacked goes. Goes right to a leg drag position. I rotate up. I've already got his leg. See this? So in this case, because his leg was in my armpit, I could shoot right into a leg lock if I wanted to. Uh, if he tries to bring his leg over my head, yeah, like that, I'm in control of his leg. See that? So now I'm going from my armpit, I'm pushing it down. I'm stepping on it and rotating as I come around to pass. Okay, like so. And then now, it's my turn. I'm gonna frame, go ahead and start to turn in. I go to knee on belly. I pummel and break and pull. I rotate. And now he's gonna give the thumb and turn the thumb. He rotates all the way over. He goes to a leg drag. He's passing. I'm trying to defend. Notice my elbows are in. I rotate. He, I turn into him. I feel the knee. So I start to push it. He goes for the arm bar. Remember, not so deep right there. A little too deep. Guys, go deep like that. Go deep. Yeah. If you go deep, see your balance is a little bit off. Okay. Remember, you want to go shallow and you want to create leverage. Keep your balance in your knee on belly posture. Yeah, look, now I can't throw you that way. I can't bump you. You got your foot, foot for balance. Some, I'm not saying you can't be low in a knee on belly, but the way you were, you were kind of, yeah, like that, you feel that? Yeah. Whoop, there you go. So we've got to fix that balance. As you guys are learning, fix your balance. Good control, can't move my arm, I'm trying to move. Go ahead, with your left hand, control my head. Feeding my head between the legs, no, the other way, yeah. Go ahead, boom, you pivots. Maybe I've got this locking for a second. That's okay, he's about to transfer, I'm gonna release it. See the bridge, guys, off my toe, on my toes. Bridging, he's trying to control my thumb now, trying to twist it. I'm rotating, there's no way he can get to it. I'm already gripping. Look at my hand here, gripping his ankle. I don't want him to go to an omoplata, let's say if my arm was here. See the omo, see that? So when I'm here, I'm trying to always grip things, hold on to them, go ahead and control me. Now I'm controlling his legs, pushing it down, passing. If he tries to bring his leg back for a triangle, I'm keeping my head tight, okay? And then now, go ahead, continue. I'm framing, I'm getting into control. Got my side control, he's starting to get on his side, starting to pummel, maybe he's getting underhooks. I go knee on belly, I re-underhook. Stepping around, trying to make my angle for the leg, but he's gonna run. Go, go, go. Boom, I'm trying to control his, his arm. He passes my guard. I frame. He goes knee on belly. He gets the underhook. Spinning arm up. Boom, I'm getting caught. Might as well go. Look at my hand right here, guys. Holding that leg if I can. Holding that leg, keep trying. Keep trying. As I'm coming up, maybe I come up. And I drop into leg lock position. Boom, and attack. So, so many different things you can do with this, but right now, the simple drill is just arm bar, hitchhiker escape. Arm bar, hitchhiker escape. Far side arm bar with the underhook. Um, doesn't always have to be done off knee on belly, but it's a good way to teach, I think. And um, it's good because you don't, when you don't have an underhook, it's a good way to get your underhook back, is to go to knee on belly. Go to knee on belly, the guy's hands are there, then you can control him, pummel and get that underhook back, okay? So, that's, I think that's it. Again, I probably missed some details. I just, 
you know, as I teach guys, I'm, I'm going off the top of my head. It's not like I plan every little thing, but I uh, hope you guys learn something. So uh, thank you guys so much. The month of August is all over. Again, hit the uh, Patreon account. Uh, try to contribute to this channel and keep uh, adding to it, getting involved. It, you guys that uh, are contributing already, I thank you guys so much. You're helping me out and um, helping me keep this uh, content coming to you every single day. I'm excited to do it. I love doing it. I love helping people. Um, if you guys, there's always going to be lovers and haters on the channel. The haters out there, I'm going to do my best to try to help you guys and, and uh, maybe, maybe re-explain what, what went wrong. Sometimes people say I'm doing something completely wrong, but, and I do make mistakes. There's times where I wish I would have added things to my videos, but that's why I talk so much too, is I'm trying to give you guys everything that I can um, at that moment without having to do five different videos on one technique. So, um, but if I miss something, let me know. If I'm making big mistakes, let me know. Uh, I'll try to clear it up, and if I'm wrong, then uh, I'm wrong. If you got something better than me, then you got something better than me. What can I say? I'm doing the best I can, guys, with what I have. T-shirt raffle, rash guard raffle. You want it, last day for it. Contribute to Patreon, next month we'll do another giveaway, and I'll announce that this next week. Thank you guys so much, Teach Me Grappling. I appreciate you.